Okay, we're going to have a look at using the bubble method for percentages. So let's start off by getting ourselves um, the little bubble there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our 100%, our whole amount. So let's do 240. Okay, so 240 is our 100% or our whole amount. It doesn't matter which way on the bubble you go, you can choose. I'm going to go to 50% now. So we're going to move down this arrow here to 50%. Now I know if 240 is the whole amount, that 50% of that is half of that amount. So I'll just do a little calculation here. So 240 divided by 2, and I know that's going to be 120. So I write that in my 50% box. Continuing down that line, I can see that the next bubble in that line is 25%. That's a quarter. 25% is a quarter of my amount. But it's also half of 50%. So I can do another quite easy calculation to find out what to put in that box. Half of 120 is 60. So I can put 60 in that box there. All right, so we've done one of our lines um, for our percentages there. So we now know what 50% is and what 25% is of 240, our starting amount. The next thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at 10%. It's a little bit fuzzy, so I'll go over that. We're going to look at 10%. Okay. So we know that 10% is one tenth of a hundred percent, or a hundred percent divided by 10 is going to give us 10%. So again, we can do quite an easy calculation there. We can divide 240 by 10. And we know that that's going to be 24. So we pop that in our bubble. So now we have 50%, 25%, and we also have 10% as well. Just move that around. Okay. The next one we're going to have a look at is across the top row is 1%. So that's that little bubble there, 1%. Now we know that 1 is a tenth of 10, or 10 divided by 10 is 1. So to find 1%, we have to divide 10% by 10. 10. This is a slightly more complicated calculation. Nothing that we can't do. So we now have 24 because that's 10%. And we're going to divide that by 10. Okay, so we're going to get a decimal. We're going to get 2.4. Just make that point a bit bigger. Okay, 2.4. So we now know 100%, 50%, 25%, 10%, 1%. So we can have a little look at the last one, this little bit here in the middle. And this one is our trickiest, but it's not too tricky for us. 
and it's 5%. We've got 50%. That's this value here, 120. And we want to get 5%. 50% divided by 10 is going to be 5%. So we can do that calculation. We can do 120 divided by 10, which gives us 12. But I also want you to have a look at something else as well. If you note up here, we have 10% is 24. Half of 10% is 5%. And half of 24 is 12. So we can do a quick check there at the end to make sure that we have the values correct. And once we've got that, we can use that little bubble that's taken us no time at all to fill in to answer some questions. And that will be on the next video.